beautiful family in the light it's honey it's a fabulous Thursday here in Washington DC a little bit cool as the weather is changing and I love being in a place where the change of seasons are beginning to start that communication within this is the weekend that fall equinox begins so as you know fall equinox is the time where we can start we harvest we plant the seeds for the future. We plant the seeds so that way they go deep into Mother Earth and they are able to start to spring in the spring and then flower and then be able to blossom so we can get the fruit of it for the summer. So this fall, this weekend coming up, what are we seeding into Mother Earth? Are we seeding and that and, and if you take that time to really understand what are we seeding on the inside, that's the key. Is this seed the seed of unity? Is this seed the seed of harmony? Is this seed the seed of love? Is this seed the seed of trust? Is this seed the seed of higher connection? Is this seed the seed of greater guidance? These are all seeds that we can plant and it requires a space so that we are able to go in because there's an alchemical process that takes place. So the space we give and we're able to put the seeds, that means be able to acknowledge them and then we're able to dive inside into them and that's when we water it, we fuel it. So that becomes those seeds that we visit and we're able to give it those beautiful, positive, nourishing um, words to it and fuel and so that way to be sure these seeds are uh, able to be able to um, blossom and give us the fruit of it. So very, very important process coming up. And today couldn't be more perfect because I had an amazing um, reading with a dear uh, friend who's a very powerful medium. He was able to share some beautiful insights on my new journey as I've just returned back from Europe and wrapped up my work there and I began my journey in the West Coast with all the new transitions. So I'll be sort of living between DC and, and Los Angeles, but starting the first phase of moving to Los Angeles, which I'm very thankful because I'm finally also, I've put up that, um, ended that war within my own self, the need, the importance and the essential part of being in an environment that vibrationally supports me greater. Though my family and friends are here, I also have there, but it's very important the higher work that I'm committed to, I'm vibrationally in an area that also supports it. So, uh, new journey, and it takes a lot of strength of the heart to just honor that and be able to listen to the words of wisdom and know exactly what it is that needs to be done. There's just no questioning in it. So very thankful for what's coming up. And um, another thing I want to share, it is really also the importance of this time that there are any energies inside that have been part of the emotional body in trap, those are released. So the mental body can finally, finally ah, rest because it's been working so hard to keep the, uh, the uh, emotions in a prison system. So there's been this big fight and, and you know, running, 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 and, but we're really running from ourselves. Finally, we pause, we acknowledge the emotions, the mental body can start to just finally like, all right, this is happening. And then it can be released and, uh, and just heard. So it moves through the mental body, moves through the etheric body and back into the spiritual body that understands things from such higher perspective. So that's what I wanted to leave you with. Um, it's a delicious vibration and uh, lots coming up on, for a whole bunch of us. And all it requires is that deep grounding. And the deep grounding is always in here, right in here, grounded in that link between you and your heart. So I love you all so much. Aho, my beautiful loved ones. Namaste, en lakesh, banur vaesh, haush, haush, haush. And looking forward to connecting with you soon again. Mm. Mm. Much love. Bye-bye.